In the beginning of the film, we are shown three friends who are climbing the mountain. They were very fond of doing all this. One friend was ahead, while the other two friends were behind him. Then one of them starts falling down from above, but the rope is tied to him, due to which he is saved. Anyway, these people had reached the mountain and started resting. One of them, a girl named Allison, asks her friend, can't you walk carefully on these mountains? What would have happened if you had fallen down and died? After that, the three of them go to a cottage built on the same mountain, where two more friends are already waiting for them. Here, a friend, Ed, comes to know that there are no signals, due to which he gets worried. There, Allison, bathing in the bathtub, was thinking, what would have happened if Ed had fallen down from the mountain and died? Anyway, at night, all of them party together and play cards. They were having a lot of fun. After playing cards, two of them go to the room to rest, which was already present here. And now Alice and Ed and their friends sit together and start talking. Then Ed's eyes went out. He says that the weather is going to be bad. There will be a very strong storm. And now, in the morning, they see that the weather is still bad. So all these friends decide together that we will not climb the mountains, but we will go through the jungle. Because even if the weather is bad, they will not be in any danger. Anyway, they all leave for the jungle. After walking for a long time, when they stop and take a break Ed goes away from them. He was hearing a strange voice. Hearing the voice, he quickly calls his friends, and now they keep following that voice. A little later Allison asks Ed, if this voice is of an animal's scream or of a human, I do not understand. And now, when they go a little further, they see another pipe buried in the ground. This voice was actually coming from inside it. When they dig there, they see a wooden box in the ground that was buried there. When they opened it, there was a child inside it. And the voice that was heard was the voice of this child, whose name is Anna. Anna was very scared. When Ed touches her, she bites him. So now Anna's friend goes to Anna, who started explaining to her. But Anna was not able to understand what she was saying. And neither was Allison's friend able to understand Anna's words. Anyway, she makes Anna drink water Allison gives that pipe and says that whoever has put this pipe, this is clear. He did not want to end Anna. He must have put this pipe there so that he could breathe inside it. Now all of them sit together. All of them decided together that we would help Anna. Here Allison's friend says that there is a village nearby. There are two ways to get there. One is from the mountain, which is its shortcut. We will reach there soon. The second is from this jungle. Then they decide that Allison and her friend, who was telling everything, because these two are good mountain climbers, that is, they can easily climb the mountains. So these two will go the shortcut way, that is, from the mountains, while the rest of the people will go from the long way of the jungle, and they will wait for help. Now, as per the plan Allison and her friend leave the way of the mountain. Allison is now slowly coming down from the mountain, but by going halfway, she finds out that her rope is over. So now she starts moving forward with the support of her feet, hands, and knees. At the same time, her friend was also behind Allison, and was slowly coming down. Then suddenly, I don't know what happened, Allison's friend's rope breaks, and he falls down the mountain. Because of which she died. Seeing this Allison got very scared. She gets scared and starts calling for help. There in the jungle, we see Ed and the rest of the friends. They were unaware that one of their friends had died. She was moving forward with Anna. Here, a friend says that if we pick up Anna in the lap, we can walk fast. But as soon as she starts picking up Anna, she gets scared. That's why they started moving forward slowly on foot. On the other hand, when the scared Allison was coming down from the mountain, suddenly, a stone falls on her. Because of this, her foot slipped, and she also fell down. But because she fell into the river below, she survived. And then slowly, somehow, she came to the shore by swimming in the water. But as soon as she came here, she also fainted. Meanwhile, hallucinations start happening. She started seeing thoughts that had never happened before. She sees that I am also trapped in the same pit, from where she had pulled Anna out. After a while Allison regains consciousness. When she goes to her dead friend and sees the rope, now she knows that someone deliberately cut her rope, so that she falls down and dies. When her eyes go up on the mountain, there was a man standing there. Allison understood that someone was trying to end her, who has also ended one of our friends. Allison's other friend was moving forward with Anna from the jungle. Then we see two men. They had guns, and they kept an eye on them. Actually, they used to hunt in the jungle. Then two more men come to those two hunters, and they end them badly. Actually, these men were kidnappers, who had kidnapped Anna. And they had cut Allison's friend's rope, and he threw a stone at Allison and tried to end her too. Anyway, now Allison's friend had also reached the place where Allison was. She tries to tell her, 
one of her friends is dead, but she was not able to hear her voice, because Allison was on the other side of the river. She was trying to tell her again and again. She also communicates by gesture. One of her friends has been killed, and someone is trying to end us, but she was still not able to understand her. Before Allison's friend could understand her, then only two kidnappers came there, who had shot Allison's friend, because of which she falls into the river Anna was also with her. Because Anna was holding her hand. Here, those kidnappers were shooting at them. Because of this Allison jumps into the river to escape from them, and he saved Anna and brought her out. But now Anna was unconscious. Anyway, after some time, she regains consciousness. But still, the kidnappers were shooting. Because of which, now all of them have to separate. Allison again climbs the mountain. There, when Ed was trying to escape from these kidnappers, then he meets Anna. To whom he refuses to make a sound. He asks her to be quiet. But when those kidnappers were shooting, then Anna's scream comes out after hearing the sound of the bullet. Because of which the kidnapper came to know about them. That's where they are. That's why Anna runs away from there. There, Allison also reached her friend. After some time Ed and Anna also came to her Allison's friend and says that these are the kidnappers. They only want Anna. That's why they are after our lives. He says that he has an idea. I will take care of these kidnappers. So you run away with Anna from behind. He does like this. He picks up a sack and runs to the other side. Because of this, the kidnappers feel that he has Anna. He is running with Anna. That's why those kidnappers now follow him. They shoot him. Because of which, he also dies. On the other side, Allison and Ed both run with Anna. And they were successful in escaping from the jungle. Ed says to Allison that my leg is injured. I can't walk too far. I think that those kidnappers kidnapped Anna. So that Anna's mom and dad can give them a lot of money. Now those people must have given them money. That's why those kidnappers are now after us. That we hand over Anna to them. After hearing all this, Allison says, Do you really think that we should do this? No, I am not ready to do all this. Now this is really true. Those kidnappers wanted to take money from Anna's rich dad. That's why they kidnapped Anna. After which, we are shown three dangerous goons, who also had guns, and they were also going to the mountains. These three used to work for Anna's dad. Anna's dad had given them a lot of money to find his daughter. So that's why they were now going towards those mountains. On the other side, Allison and Ed take Anna and reach a police station in the village. They get their friend's murder and kidnapping reports written. But the officer there was thinking that they were lying. He doesn't believe them. That's why Ed was thinking that maybe the officer was also with those kidnappers. He tells Allison to leave from here. But now the officer was also stopping them from leaving from here. Ed got angry. He picks up the knife. But suddenly, the officer gets a bullet from outside, which was fired by the kidnappers. Seeing this, Allison, Ed, and Anna start running away from here. Now it is shown that the head of the man was sent by Anna's dad. I reached a kidnapper. He says to that kidnapper that I will give you money. When will you show me Anna? After hearing this, the kidnapper says, Believe me, Anna is alive. And if you don't give me money, then we will end it. Actually, the kidnapper was lying. Anna was not with them. She was with Allison and Ed. Ed and Allison were running away with Anna. Then the man sent by Anna's dad follows them. He shoots Ed, thinking that he is a kidnapper. Because of which, he also died. Now the real kidnapper, who was still after Allison, he ends up with the man sent by Anna's dad. But before dying, he had told his companion the truth. Anna is not with the kidnappers. That's why he sits with him. And ends the other kidnapper Allison came to a house while running away with Anna. But that kidnapper was still behind them. Who was wearing a strange mask. So that they both cannot recognize her. Now the kidnapper also came to that house. Seeing this Anna quickly sits down and hides. But then that kidnapper catches Allison. He strangles her and makes her unconscious. Then he started looking for Anna. But then Allison came to her senses. She attacked the kidnapper and pushed him out of the window. Because of which, the kidnapper dies there. After which, the whole house was on fire. Allison drops her out of the window to save Anna. And she became unconscious because of the smoke. But as soon as she regains consciousness, she sees that I was rescued. Allison was being taken to an ambulance on a stretcher. Anna was also with her, and she was fine. Now the other kidnapper was running away with the money. He was also caught. He was caught by Anna's dad's man who he had brought near Anna's dad in the jungle Anna's dad ends the kidnapping and gets him locked in that car, which he had locked Anna. And in this way, he got his daughter Anna back. And he took his revenge on this kidnapper. And he did not even give the money Allison had lost all her friends just to save a little girl named Anna, which made her very sad. But she was happy for Anna. And with this, the story of this movie ends here.
Thanks.